This video demonstrates the use of Mars 6 microwave, which will be used to perform chemical reactions. Inside the microwave, you will find a turntable with 25 vessels in which the reactants and a control will be placed. Carefully remove the turntable from the microwave. On the turntable shield, you will find four pins. You must slide them towards the center of the shield, which will let you remove the shield. In order for us to perform a reaction, we must prepare the vessels. In this video, four vessels will be used as samples and one will be used as a control. The control vessel will be provided by your instructor. Do not disassemble this vessel since a specific tightness must be applied in order for the experiment to go correctly. Take the lid off of the vessels by unscrewing the vessel top using the torque tool and popping the vent plug. Arrange these five vessels on the test tube rack. Place the reaction components as described in the lab manual and add one magnetic stir bar into the vessel. Place the vent plug so that it covers the opening of the vessel. Then, screw on the vessel top. You may need to use the torque tool to tighten the top until an audible click is heard. This will ensure that there are no leaks in the vessel. Place the vessels into the sleeves of the turntable. There are numbers in front of every sleeve which can serve to make sure the vessels do not get mixed up. Use these numbers on the carousel rather than stickers which causes uneven heat distribution. Although the vessels can be placed in any number, they must be evenly distributed. For instance, if one vessel goes in number 1, the other must go on the opposite side in number 13. The remaining two vessels must go in number 7 and 19. Place the control vessel into the sleeve that does not have a number. Make sure that the vessel goes all the way inside the carousel. Be careful when placing the vessels because the labels may not line up with the vessels as the number gets higher. Slide the four pins into place and close the shield by pushing them away from the center of the turntable. Place the turntable into the microwave, making sure that the turntable sits on the drive lug. Once it is properly seated, the turntable should not rotate. Slide the probe through the opening at the top of the microwave and insert the end into the thermal well nut on top of the control vessel. Check to make sure that the probe is not crimped because the probe might break. Make sure that when you close the door of the microwave, the probe is inserted in the control vessel. If the probe is hanging out and is accidentally caught with the door, it will break. If you notice that the probe is not properly inserted, stop the experiment and start over, since the fluctuating temperature caused by inserting the probe in the middle of the experiment may cause dramatic change in liquid levels. Choose classic methods and select the appropriate reaction method. Press start to start the reaction. When the microwave heating method is completed, allow the vessels to cool below 50 degrees Celsius before removing the vessels. Remove the fiber optic probe from the control vessel and carefully remove the turntable. Open the turntable shield by moving the four pins towards the center of the turntable. Remove the vessels from the turntable, making sure to use protective gear such as insulated gloves to prevent the possibility of burns. Slowly open the vessels by having the top point towards the back of the fume hood. If the vessel top is rapidly loosened, the gases inside may escape quickly, causing a safety hazard. Perform the reaction workup.